Today we're driving the 2021 Acura TLX. This is fully redesigned and all new for the 21 model year. It has an exclusive platform that's no longer shared with the Honda Accord, and it has Acura's two liter turbocharged VTEC engine that makes 272 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. It also features Acura's fourth generation of super handling all wheel drive. Power is sent to all four wheels through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It has slightly wider ratios overall and a shorter first gear ratio for better acceleration from a start. The new double wishbone front suspension is a great improvement to this car, helping to provide more cornering grip and ride comfort over different road surfaces. The chassis has been stiffened and lightened, and the TLX now features the highly sophisticated electro servo brake system from the NSX. This A-Spec features 19-inch shark gray alloy wheels, and an exclusive red interior specific to the A-Spec package. The new TLX comes standard with the latest Acura Watch safety system, which features collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, and lane keeping assist. It also has pedestrian detection, traffic sign recognition, and traffic jam assist. The new TLX also has a next generation passenger airbag system that's a lot safer for the passenger occupants. Let's walk you around and take you on a tour of this new TLX, take it on the road, and see how all these changes translate to a better driving experience. All right, so we've just gone over a lot of the features and updates to this all new TLX. Let's walk you around this and see what this is like to drive. How does all that translate to the experience of living with and driving this thing? Uh, upon first impressions, I'm really quite impressed with this TLX. This A-Spec hits quite, kind of a nice mark in the range. It's around $46,000 with the SH all-wheel drive. And uh, it's a little bit sportier, a little bit more special feeling than the advanced package, the top-of-the-line trim. But yet it still retains the ELS Studio 3D 17-speaker audio system, which I think is probably reason alone to buy this car. It's incredible. We'll do a little sound test towards the end of this video. And uh, we also have a little bit more of an extensive sound test on our advanced package test drive. But uh, yeah, let's walk you around this. Let's look at the new proportions. You can see Acura has definitely updated the interior, but there's still a lot of familiarity here. You have the dynamic mode selection button uh, that we had in the NSX course the button gear selector that actually is quite easy to use and uh, once you get used to it it's actually very nice it's better than a lot of the other button selectors where there's quite a differentiation between park neutral drive reverse and uh, pushing the sport mo button uh, is nice when you want to get a little bit more of a spirited shifting experience we'll walk you around the interior a little bit more too but for now a lot of the updates on this TLX are on the outside it's a little bit larger than its competitor. It's definitely lower and wider. It has this aggressive stance with these really wide fender flares in the rear. The haunches are really something. It's pretty impressive looking. This is a good direction for Acura. And you know, if they're gonna sway some buyers back from SUVs and crossovers, this is a pretty good vehicle to do it with. This A-Spec looks fantastic. In this gray, you can really see some of the lines and uh, sculpture to this body styling. It has a longer hood, kind of a raised cabin feel. As far as space and packaging goes, there's not a ton of room in the back seat, though I think it is quite adequate. Set to my driving position at 5'10", I have plenty of leg room, lots of room in front of my knees. The seat has kind of this little uh, cut out here. You get seat pockets on both the driver and passenger side. There's a little bit of an armrest here. The leather, the materials, everything in here feels very premium, very nice. And uh, of course, all of the A spec trimming with the red leather and the aluminum looks quite sharp, in my opinion. And while we have it here, let's look under the hood. One thing I do like about this two liter turbo is it sounds really good in the cabin. And if you look at it under the hood, it actually looks like an engine. 
not full of plastic cladding. Look how much extra space there is in there for a V6, a twin turbo three liter V6 in the Type S. That's exciting. Eh, a little bit ahead of the front axle, but overall, this is a pretty nice package. Made it with a 10 speed automatic. I will say it drives fantastic. This is this is kind of the perfect powertrain for most people's use. And I think once you hear it and experience it, you're not really gonna miss the V6 that much. This is so much torquier and uh, it kind of plays up the turbocharged nature a little bit. You get a slight blow off valve noise when you lock off the throttle. It's, uh, it's engaging, it's exciting. It kind of adds to the experience instead of taking away like a lot of other two liter turbos do. On the inside, this is kind of similar to the RDX, which was their all new offering, kind of showcasing the future of Acura. And uh, they've built upon that in this TLX interior. So honestly, this has been a little bit of a point of contention for a lot of people, but I really do like this touchpad. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it's fantastic. You really quickly find what you need to. So if I plugged Apple CarPlay in here, we'll switch USB ports. All you have to do is press exactly on the touchpad where you want your uh, selection to be on the screen. So you can swipe, which is great. You have another secondary screen that you can customize to one of three options, the clock, navigation, or your music, which is pretty nice. We're going to enable Apple CarPlay here. Um, this uh, touch system, this one-to-one -one touch system, only works in the Acura infotainment. Once you go into Apple CarPlay, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to use, but you're just swiping at that point, whereas normally you're not swiping. Uh, but this is a pretty easy system to use. It's quick, it's responsive. They have updated this a little bit in the TLX, and I, I will say it works quite well. So uh, definitely not a, uh, an issue. And that goes into the rest of the vehicle. Immediately when I get into this, it's familiar. I love all the use of buttons and knobs and switches. The volume knob and the track selection knob is right down here. The passenger can easily access that. And uh, you also have controls on the steering wheel that are familiar that they've used in the past. If you're an Acura loyalist or if you're a new customer to the brand, you're gonna find this a really easy car to use. And in the segment where everything else is overly complicated and there's so many screens and deep menus, this is a really nice breath of fresh air. Uh, I don't feel like I'm gonna crash this thing just trying to change the radio station. All right, let's set off, let's go for a drive. Little reverse camera action there. See you guys, show you guys what it's like. I have nice visibility all throughout. And look at that, that hood line. It's kind of got sloped up fenders. It's a pretty sharp look. This has variable ratio steering, so at low speeds you'll get a quicker ratio that will kind of uh, be a little bit less effort and you won't have to turn the wheel as much at parking lot speeds. Listen to that 2 liter turbo. Have you ever heard a 2 liter turbo sound like that? That's not bad. Put it in a sport mode. And this is a little bit of a playful car. You can have some fun in this thing. Um, the SH all-wheel drive works as it always has. On throttle, there's a ton of traction here. We'll put it in a sport mode, play around the entrance ramp. Off throttle, there's a little bit of understeer, but you have to learn to manage it. And that's slightly exacerbated by these tires, so you're gonna hear them. They'll, they're a little bit vocal. But off the line, out of a 90 degree corner, that's where this car shines. And it really wakes up. The steering is light, the throttle is quite responsive, even with this turbocharger, there's very little lag. And this 10 speed auto is a very good transmission. We weren't even in sport mode back there, we'll put it back into normal. It's not always hunting for gears. It really utilizes the torque from this engine. It's a great 
iteration of this 10 speed. I'm a big fan of how it drives. And of course, when you come to a stop, auto stop start will engage. You'll get completely silent red lights. That is uh, something that you can program into your individual setting and turn on or turn off. There is a lot of different uh, ways that you can configure the individual drive mode and uh, you can kind of hold this to customize it and there's just so much you can go in and do. And I like that Acura is allowing you to customize the drive experience in this. We'll put it into uh, normal mode and, and just drive it around in that. But I will say we did drive the advanced package with the adjustable dampers and there's quite a bit of variance between drive modes. So comfort, you'll get kind of floaty, really luxurious ride quality. And in sport mode, you can feel the dampers stiffen up. This A-Spec with just the standard suspension, no adjustable dampers, the, the tuning here is really good. I actually kind of prefer it to the adjustable dampers a little bit. It's just one mode, one set of tuning parameters serves you really well in pretty much all situations. Traction here on throttle is fantastic. A car like this is going to be really fun to drive in the snow and in the winter. Even over really harsh big bumps, despite these larger 19 inch wheels, the ride quality is great. There's never anything that's too intrusive, that's too abrasive. And here, there, just the smoothness of the powertrain. Acura also took some inspiration from the NSX with the brake pedal. This is brake by wire. And uh, the tuning is actually very similar to what we had. There's a little bit more pedal travel in the NSX, but uh, the feel is very responsive. And honestly, a lot of these brake by wire systems that I've driven, I've been quite impressed with them. There's a little bit more flexibility with how they can set them up. And uh, as a result, it adds kind of a safety element with redundancy in the brake booster system, but also uh, the brake feel is kind of a little bit of, a little bit better for it. Let's do one more entrance ramp here just for fun. Traction on power, it's just awesome. When you let off, you get a little bit of lift off oversteer, but it stays neutral. <laughs> the mid range is a lot meatier in this two liter turbo. I mean, it's 272 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque, which is which is a little bit less than the V6 before, but the torque is higher and the usable power band is a little bit nicer to use in daily driving situations. You don't have to rev it out as much. And they've almost made it sound like a V6, which I think is kind of cool. But just cruising here on the highway, Acura's radar guided cruise control, their lane centering system, this is an improvement over previous generations. They've done a little bit more tuning and uh, calibration here that in practice and just my hour or two driving this thing, uh, it seems to work quite well. Again, if you just need to take your eyes off the road for just a second, adjust something in the screen, change a setting in Apple CarPlay, this is a system that works quite well to uh, kind of ease the uh, the level of danger when taking your eyes off the road to fiddle with the infotainment. When you're passing, I'd say this car is pretty responsive. If I had one complaint, I would like to see just a little bit more off the line response from the transmission. You put your foot down and there's just a half a second delay. But I will say this is a luxury car. This is not the ultimate sport sedan uh, version of this TLX. The Type S is coming out and that might have just a little bit more uh, of an immediate
continued character to it. That said though, when you do heavy throttle application of this car, it's smooth. So you're not going to be snapping any passengers' necks back. Uh, the transmission seems to kind of blend that, that difference in acceleration very well. It builds gradually instead of all at once, which I think in a luxury car is nice. One thing I've always kind of complained about with the A-Spec package is these red gauges can be a little bit difficult to see sometimes in the bright daylight, but I think it adds a little bit of a sporty feel. And at night and in the lower uh, lower light and early in the morning, late in the evening, they look awesome. So pros and cons. There are some real advantages to this TLX uh, when you compare it to a lot of the SUV counterparts. There's such a so much more character here there's so much more driving feel and enjoyment when you compare this to a crossover or an suv um, i really do hope that people start to buy more sedans and this is one sedan that i think is worth looking at over uh, some of its suv counterparts so well done acura you've done a good job i think this is a really good direction for the brand and for their future products there's definitely some stuff here that I would like to see other manufacturers begin to implement. Mostly the ergonomics, it nails it in the ergonomic department. And uh, that's a really big win here. The driving dynamics are pleasing, enjoyable. Uh, I think this would be a really, really nice daily driver and a really com comfortable and enjoyable car to live with for a long time. Now let's get to the biggest highlight here, in my opinion and that is the ELS 3D surround system. This sound system will just, it'll knock your socks off. It's pretty amazing. Um, the way this thing sounds is just incredible. Like I said in my last review of the Advanced Package TLX, the sound quality here is just next level. In the class, it blows everything out of the water, and if you look across all the in-car audio systems, this is probably one of the best. And the fact that you can get it in a car that's under $50,000 is just incredible. If you are a hi-fi or an audiophile, eh, this is the way to go. It'll make you want to buy a subscription to some high quality audio streaming service or just throw all of your favorite tracks on a USB stick and uh, stick it right in there. Fortunately, we can only play copyright free music, but uh, hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of an idea of what it sounds like.
it's an audio system that truly enhances the experience of driving this car. And uh, I think it's kind of a reason to buy a TLX or an Acura product with the ELS in it. And uh, everything else just adds to the overall package. And if you know, if you can swing a sedan, if you can, you know, if you're about that that life and over a crossover an SUV, this is a really really nice package. It's just so cohesive and well put together. Acura's put so much thought into designing this thing and making it easy to use and user friendly that um, I think it's something that's very important in the modern landscape of luxury vehicles because yes tech is great tech is awesome but you know what it gets it gets frustrating because it's so complicated to use and to implement into a vehicle that you're driving and uh, Acura's found a really nice balance here so anyway hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what the TLX is like to drive um, I'm very excited to drive the Type S that's coming out in the spring. It's going to be a more performance-oriented option. Uh, you can kind of pick your flavor depending on your budget and your needs. Uh, the compelling thing about the TLX is it comes with a lot of Honda and Acura safety features standard, whereas a lot of the competition, those are optional extras. So if that's stuff that's important to you, uh, this is definitely a car to consider. I think this is a, a way more of a player now in this new 2021 model than it ever has been in this segment. And uh, yeah, anyway, I would if I were in the market for a luxury sedan, this would be at the top of my list. I think this would just be such a nice daily driver that kind of hits all the marks, checks a lot of the boxes. And uh, being able to listen to that sound system every day, I'm sold. So. Anyway, guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. This was, uh, this was a pleasure to uh, spend a day in these TLXs, get a little bit of an opportunity to get some, get some early seat time in these. So thanks for Acura for inviting me out to uh, this launch, this local event. <laughs> and that's where SH all-wheel drive shines. the blow-off valve. That's cool. Alright guys, that's it for this one. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. I did drive my 850R here today to give me a kind of a sport sedan reset and uh, this TLX did impress. <laughs>